يا ذاكر الأصحاب كن متأدبا واعرف عظيم منازل الأصحاب هم صفوة رفعوا بصحبة أحمد وبذاك قد خصوا من الوهاب يا ذاكر الأصحاب كن أومن كان ميتا بخارج منها كذلك زين للكافرين ما كانوا يعملون وكذلك جعلنا في كل قرية أكابر مجرميها ليمكروا فيها وما يمكرون إلا بأنفسهم وما يشعرون قالوا لن نؤمن حتى نؤتى مثل ما أوتي رسل الله الله أعلم حيث يجعل رسالته سيصيب الذين أجرموا صغار عند الله سيصيب الذين أجرموا صغار This is, of course, my reversion story, um, or conversion story, sorry, whichever one you prefer to say. Um, so this is going to be a longer video, just warning you. I will take you through my journey um, and how I embraced Islam. So it was a long process for me, actually. Um, it started in about grade 7. Um, grade 7, I had two close um, male friends and they sort of um, they sort of opened my eyes and got me asking questions that was in grade seven unfortunately I it left my mind um, and I didn't think about it I didn't think about Islam until about grade nine because I saw them again um, we lost touch and I saw them again in grade 9 um, and we started talking again and um, of course they were talking to me and they gave me a book um, this book was just a simple maybe 200 page book um, and it was just about how science connects with Islam and I think that was very intelligent um, for them to give me that book because it's not just pushing somebody with the Quran it's not just pushing somebody into the hadiths you have to be smooth about it so I think it was very intelligent for them to do it that way and alhamdulillah it actually did help so um, so that was in grade 9 however again I dropped it um, now the reason for me dropping it, um, of course, is because I wasn't aware, um, and of course the shaitan doesn't want people to learn about Islam, so of course there's always the shaitan that takes you away from that. Um, so probably in grade, it was late, it was either late grade 11 or early grade 12, where I approached somebody in um, one of my classes, a female. Um, she wore the hijab, she still wears the hijab. And I approached her and I asked her for the Quran because um, I it just popped into my head one day. I was, 
sort of asking questions, so I wanted to read it. Um, and I read some of it, and I noticed um, there was always mention of this one man, um, and his name was everywhere in it. Um, and quickly before I talk about that, I just want to say that um, you know who you are and you're watching this video, and I thank you so much for giving me that quote on, and of course, um, just for other people. Um, when you give somebody a Qur'an, you earn hasanets, like rewards, you earn hasanets um, after you die. So alhamdulillah for her that she did that, and I thank her a lot. You know who you are. Um, so, of course, I got into the Qur'an, I started reading it, um, and I just saw this, this person's name everywhere all over the Qur'an, and I'm like, who is this guy? Like, who is he? He seems like... You know, I want to know why everybody loves him. I want to know his character. I want to know who he is. So I went online. I read some hadiths. I read um, books that I got from friends. I um, watched a couple documentaries, both by Muslims and by non-Muslims about him. Um, and of course, this wonderful man is Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Um, at that point in my life when I researched about the Prophet, um, I realized that I had to make a change. And I realized from that point, I was watching this one documentary. Um, and I, I give it to everybody. Um, I will give you the link if you want it. Um, but I watched this one documentary and I realized um, that I fell in love with Islam through Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. I fell in love with Islam through him. From that moment, I got this overwhelming feeling. I it doesn't do justice for me to try and put it in words. I just got an overwhelming feeling that I had to make a change in my life, and that I had to, you know, look in and ask people how about to embrace Islam. So it was that moment where I realized towards the middle of the documentary that, you know, non-Muslims are saying this about this glorious man. Um, and I just realized from that point that there had to be a change. And I got this, this feeling that, I mean, like I just said, I can't explain it. It was the most... Um, peaceful feeling and from that moment on I realized that I had to go embrace Islam so I did embrace Islam at a local mosque um, and that was in grade 12 um, I really from that moment on I took myself away from everybody from friends I literally went missing because I knew that I had to focus on Islam and I had to embrace it, and I had to have more knowledge on it, and I had to learn, and I had to broaden my horizons. So it was my main focus to really embrace Islam. That word is so powerful. You embrace it. Um, so alhamdulillah, from that moment, my life changed. Um, I did not wear the hijab at first. It actually took me a year and a half to put it on. Um, but I will, that's a different story, the hijab. Um, but of course, once I embraced Islam, I realized that, you know, there's much more to this life. And it's those exact words, this life. There is more than one life. And of course, we should all be, you know, looking forward to the life after this life because it's nothing compared to this world. And alhamdulillah, I realized that I need to be in a peaceful place with my mind, with my body, and of course with my soul. There was no more swearing. There was no more going out late. There was no more talking to guys. Um, 
the way that I used to talk to them, you know, nobody is perfect. And that is exactly why we repent. And that is exactly why we are human and why we make mistakes, because nobody's perfect. If we were perfect, why would we need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Why would we need him if we were created perfect? So it's just very important for anybody that has doubts in life. Nobody's perfect. Um, and of course, for non-Muslims that are watching this, message me, ask me questions, leave me comments. Um, I know it's a struggle. I know there's struggles every day. People stare at you differently because you don't look like a typical Muslim. Um, I know it's hard. There's struggles, but of course, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests his soldiers. He tests his servants. Um, there will always be tests in this life. This life is one huge test. And I thank those two friends. You know who you are. I thank you for getting my mind to ask myself questions. And I thank that girl. You know who you are. Um, you're beautiful. Mashallah. Inside and out. I thank you for giving me that Quran. I still have it till this day and I still read it, of course. Um, it has been a journey, guys. It really has an emotional journey, a physical journey, um, but it's a journey and it's my journey and I'm glad that I shared it with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed my story. It is not an emotional story. It's not a sad story. It's just, I think it's very powerful that moment in time I wish I could share it with everybody when I was watching that documentary and this feeling just came over me the feeling came over me and I couldn't I just knew from that moment I had to change I really had to change um, and I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every day alhamdulillah and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and of course um, I will have the video where I decided to wear the hijab um, and just quickly for non-Muslims that are watching this um, I know how hard it is to walk up to a Muslim and ask them questions and you know you're scared that they look at you differently but you know what get over the ego and just go up to them and ask them because the only per the only power that put that that feeling where you want to go ask somebody is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he put that in you he put it in me he put it in our fe fellow brothers and sisters in Islam he put he puts this feeling in us where it wants to make us gain knowledge it wants us to become better people not just Muslims but better people in general so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed it um like my video or subscribe assalamu alaikum jahran da'utuka ya kareem wa khifiyatan rifqan bi'abdin ta'ibin yata'allamu أعلم بأني مذنب لكنك مني بذنب يا إلهي أعلم مني بذنب يا إلهي أعلم